Hello and welcome to Carnivore Expeditions. We recently started surveying this very wet cave in Jackson County, Alabama. Our reason for surveying this cave was to see if it was connected to a nearby larger cave system. This cave has a rather tight entrance and most passerbys would not even notice that you can get inside this cave. The entrance is very obscure. This cave was originally submitted as only being 100 feet in length. However, we were able to shift around some rocks and have easily added several hundred more feet to the cave. Surveying a wet cave presents a lot of unique problems. Many cavers will use a prophylactic to help keep their electronic devices dry during the survey process. If you are interested in learning how to survey a cave, there are many books available on the topic. However, the best way to learn how to survey a cave may be to just find your local grotto and go along with someone who's already experienced with surveying caves. Many cavers like using whiteout or liquid paper for setting survey stations. The great thing about liquid paper is that it's easy to see in a dark environment and it can also be easily removed by just scraping it with your thumbnail. <laughs> this is just like the downstairs. <laughs> is that the end? Well, I mean, you you shoot four to five, and then you'll just shoot an end shot. Oh, I thought there was more. I thought there was a couple hundred feet. Well, I, I, you know how you memory. remember things differently, and there's yeah, it's like it's pumping hard up there. Yeah. Though. And then there's a one more shot. One, yeah, one more shot. You can get flat on the wall or no? No, no, I'd have to get soaked. No, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. See, you ain't going to take me home to serve <laughs> Cavers usually try to stay dry, but sometimes there just isn't any way to avoid getting soaked. Another trick we have learned is to periodically take photos of our survey notes just in case they get ruined by water. Yeah. 
Yep, I'm through. Although it will be a while before a final map is produced, at this stage we have enough data to where we can produce a line plot which will show us which way the cave is trending. The next time we return to this cave, we will have a good idea about where the leads are and where to resume our survey. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel so you can receive updates about this project.